The pandemic has kept many of you grounded for almost an entire year now, which is why some of you are getting the itch to take off once again. And while it does seem like travel restrictions are always on the fly, the Redmond Airport director says that's not actually the case. There are some new things to the process, but overall there's not been massive changes that have occurred because of COVID. All regulations at the Redmond Airport follow federal guidelines, so of course masks are required. Anytime you step onto airport property, you're wearing a mask or you're not flying at all. That's a nationwide mandate. Here in Oregon, Anyone arriving from another state or country is encouraged, but not required to quarantine for 14 days. One of the most common questions they hear is, do I need a COVID-19 test to fly? And the answer really depends on your destination. If you're flying to Hawaii, then yes, you do. But on other domestic flights, you likely won't need one because most states don't require a negative result. Several states, though, do ask you to fill out a travel help form on your phone upon arrival or quarantine for 10 to 14 days. But that's not up to the airport. So Zach Bass says you should check in with each individual state or airline to find out what's expected. If you're headed to the U.S. on an international flight, then you must have a negative COVID test before you enter the country. Safe travels. Thank you. Finally, what's up with that real ID? Well, here's what you need to know. A real ID and a standard ID will both be valid for driving privileges and identification purposes, but come October 1st, you'll only be allowed on domestic flights using a real ID. It's no secret the aviation industry has been hit hard by the pandemic, but Bass says they are excited to have people strapping into their seatbelts once again in a safe manner, of course. In Redmond, Max Goldwasser, News Channel 21.